Bum, 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 so nerdgasming over this Godzilla second trailer. Holy fucking shit, guys. This. Ugh. Forget, you know, I know we still got the Spider-Man, you know, Spider-Man Far From Home trailers coming out sometime. We've still got, you know, you know, we had Avengers Endgame and we had a few other trailers here and there. But this, this was the trailer I was waiting for. And I'm pretty sure all of you, got, a lot of you guys were as well. This was the trailer that we were all waiting for. Oh, man. And it delivered. Now, the story for this trailer... Also, before I go any further, I'd like to again apologize for uh, jumping the gun and saying that Violante was going to be in the movie. Uh, apparently, that's not the case. Sadly, that was just fan art that the site... Um, apparently, the fan site... I mean, excuse me, not the fan site, the official site posted uh, images that turned out to be fan art, but they forgot to say, hey, it's fan art. They literally forgot to say, hey, it's fan art. So, official site, no indication that it was fan art. Yeah, so I kind of uh, jumped the gun, my apologies. But hey, that's what you get for, you know, um, you know, not, mar you know, saying, claiming it's fan art first and foremost. You know, shit happens like that. Anyway, so... Let's get to, let's get to talking about um, the other. Uh, let's talk about this trailer now. The trailer does feature all the monsters. We get to see all of them. Um, I really love the designs of the monsters. I didn't talk about the designs for Ghidorah, Rodan, and Mothra, which I enjoy them all. I know Mothra is getting some heat for being the most bug-like, but really. I like the new legs, and we actually get to see more of her face in this trailer. She actually looks like, facially, she looks more like an updated Showa Mothra. I like that. Um, the legs, I, I don't mind either. She looks very much insectoid, which I'm fine with. And in fact, I like how, like, with, with actual moths, her wings are the biggest part of her body. I really like that. Um, Rodan looks kick-ass. I love the fire coming off of his body. And Ghidorah, I know a lot of people are comparing him to Smaug. I know I have too. But really, that's more of a compliment because Smaug's awesome and the design, you can easily tell. That's Ghidorah. That's Mothra. That's Rodan. That's what I love the most about these designs is that they didn't take any, like, liberties with them. You know, the only ones I think they took the most liberties with were with Mothra. And even then, it still felt like Mothra. You know, you could look at Mo that character and say, oh, that's Mothra. So, yeah. So, it looks like the crux, and we go into more of the crux of this movie, is that the military, uh, like, there's a group of, mili of um, members of Monarch who are trying to be like, hey, you know, Godzilla isn't really our enemy, let's use him for uh, a weapon. And, and I like the moment where it's like, you want to use Godzilla as our pet? And, and they'd be like, no, we'd be his pets. That There's a difference. And, yeah, it does look like they've captured him and want to use him as a weapon against these new uh, kaiju that are coming out. Speaking of the new kaiju, Godzilla's return to Earth in 2014 was like a beacon for all these other kaiju to appear. It was very much a all these other kaiju to make their um, debut again because they all want to fight. It looks like a vast majority of these kaiju do want to fight uh, Godzilla for dominance because he is the alpha. And, um... When you're the king, everybody want everybody wants to be the king, you know. So Godzilla pretty much has a target on his back, and the one gunning him for, for him the most is Ghidorah, who looks goddamn menacing. Um, I like the spikes on the tails and how they shoot out a bit, like an like an ankylosaurus. Um, but yeah, it's also interesting to see that Ghidorah also like moves forward like a serpent. Like it, he moves like forward. He's not like standing. Um, standing straight. He's actually moving kind of like Smaug again. I have this feeling that he's going to be, like, hunched over and his wings are going... Like, the, how his wings look from the from the SH monster design 
is that his wings look very like tilted forward. So that gives me this indication that his wings are going to be like bent for, or going to be able to fold forwards and he's going to be able to walk on all fours. That may be the case, but I don't see them doing that a lot with him. Like, he's obviously going to be stand. Like, when we saw him facing off of Godzilla in the Antarctic, very reminiscent. Like, it, like, that moment where they're facing in the Antarctic, I had a little flashback to Final Wars um, with Godzilla in the Arctic. Um, so, yeah, we did see him standing straight and tall, but I guess when he's. When Ghidorah's really booking it, he's going to be, you know, move Like, having. being bent forward and moving kind of serpent like. Um. So I like that. I really, um, I really enjoy that. Um, uh, not much with the human characters, although it is funny to see Thomas Metalditch as the serious character because I know him best as Pen Zero from Pen Zero Part Time Hero. So now I can't get the image of Pen trying to save Godzilla. I cannot get that image out of my head now. <laughs> um, it is cool to see Ken Watanabe back again as um, Doctor Serizawa. I thought that was really cool. Um, I'm really, like, I really enjoyed this. This really gave us the monster, uh, you know, more of the monsters, which we really, which they've been like, don't worry, this, this trailer was worth the wait. This, I will say that this trailer was definitely, um, worth, uh, the wait. And it was an agonizing wait. And like I said, as much as I liked Avengers Endgame, and I'm probably, I might like the trailer for Spider-Man Far From Home, and I even enjoyed the James Gunn produced movie trailer for uh, that superhero horror movie, Brightburn. But this was the one that, you know, this was an agonizing wait for me, guys. This was a total, total, like, agonizing wait, and it was so worth it. It was so fucking worth waiting for this trailer. Um, now, a few other things we did see is that some images, like a mountain suddenly getting up, and another one of these legs coming out, almost look like scorpion tails coming out of, in like an oil field, and it made me wonder, who the hell is that? Now, a lot of people have been speculating that maybe that's Mothra coming out of a, like, hatching, that could be the case, um, but the mountain makes me go, who's that? Is that an, like, because da Daughtry did, Michael Daughtry did say that there were going to be more than just the three monsters we saw in here, so... Could that, you know, could there be other monsters? Could it be original monsters? Hell, it could be Camebus or Ingiris, for all we know. Um, that is the mountain character, and it, we could, may as well have Biollante in here. We don't know. Um, yeah. So, I'm curious to see what those two other monsters are, but what we got, yeah. I'm all in. I'm totally all in with this trailer, with this movie, guys. I was there. I was in for it for the, from the be from the beginning. Like the first trailer, I was that I was sold, and this and this trailer sells me even further. So you guys, tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of Godzilla King of the Monsters second trailer? Uh, did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? What do you, what do you guys think of the kaiju designs for the monsters? And also, who do you think those other two monsters are? The mountain character and the legs coming out of the oil field. Who do you think those monsters are? Do you think they're new monsters or monsters we already know and love? Also, do you think we'll get Kong as an after credit scene? Just comment below, let me know. Once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later.